Oh, I see. Snap trappers and hideous zipperbacks eat different types of prey. It looks like the snap trappers like to eat small land animals, where Belf and Barge really prefer to swoop down and snatch fish from the ocean. The two mystery class dragons must have shared a common ancestor a long time ago. Their fizzle, fizzle, I can't say that word, <laughs> adapted and changed to match the type of food they prefer to eat. The hideous zipperback has two heads because it helps it catch fish, whereas Snap Trapper has four heads because it can spread it out to cover more ground while it lies in ambush. Wait, be quiet. I have a thought. I'm not used. I'm. And I'm not used to that experience. So, if the Snap Trappers can hide and wait for its prey to come for it, uh, we can do the same to the Dragon Hunters. If we create a giant hole and cover it in branches, leaves, and other bits of camouflage so you can't see it, then we'll slow down anyone who tries to attack the base. Hiccup will know if it's a good idea or not. Can you ask him if he thinks what he thinks of the pitfall trap at Dragon's Edge? Okay. I like learning about the different types of dragons. I don't know. It makes me think of like uh, zoology types of research. Hey! Hey, up, how you doing? Wow, that's actually a very good idea from the twins. Animals have developed defenses through generations of adaption. The dragons are still alive because their defensive, mechan de 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 defensive mechanisms work. We can use dragon defenses as an inspiration to defend our own base. I'm very excited to see what you can do. Me? Uh, did we get permission from Lord Hiccup? Yes? Good. Because we already dug a ho hole. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Uh, Roughnut and I are pretty good at making holes to bury each other alive. Other, each other alive all the time. Uh, you can't stop that kind of expertise. Come down and see our handiwork. Uh, okay, sure. Um, don't know about burying people alive. I feel like that would be very, very <laughs> strange. Um, but yeah, apparently you're running down. Um, okay, well, let's, let's go. Yeah, going back to what I was saying. I love that the animal types of research where you learn about how, like, um, I think it's epigenics. Epigenics and uh, creatures evolve certain ways because of different environments and stuff and different food. I just, I don't know. I love it. Oh, there's the hole. I see it. Hey, we're here. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? Is he going to fall into it? It worked. <laughs> Loki. <laughs> the pitfall trap is a success. The camouflage on the hole means that our enemies, and not loud, won't know it's there. Uh, what a well-executed plan, brother. Um, you want to talk to Snot loud to make sure he's okay. Or gloat. I would totally gloat. Do I have to get in the hole with him? Really, guys? Honestly, who puts a hole in the middle of a perfectly good pathway? I mean, I knew it was there. I just had to make sure it that it was too that it was deep enough to trap people who fall inside. So good job. <laughs> You'll help me out, right? Roughnut, right? Roughnut, toughnut, click to Alex Hunter. Yeah, we got some more experience and age up. Jeez. Every time. <gasps> We're level five now. Okay, wait. We've got to cancel everything. We've got to go back to the school to age up our dragon. Now, I do believe we can turn it into a teenager, which means that we can ride uh, uproar. And yeah, this is something I kept missing. I remember doing it at the beginning of the series. Of like the 50, 60 episodes that we have. Uh, but I honestly completely forgot and just thought we had to keep them babies until they were level 10. So yeah, I'm going to just go double check. New quest at the headmaster. No, I'm okay, thanks. We'll go back to Roughnut and Toughnut in a minute. I love that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uproar, are you ready to grow up? I'm so excited. I... This is one of my favourite things. My favourite thing in this is training the dragons by doing quests and having that, like, bond with it. I don't know, I just, I just really like it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's run here. Yes, we're ready to grow. <gasps> Did I just use an age-up token? No, this is you as a teenager? Oh my goodness, do I want to change any of your colours? No, I kind of don't. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't want to use a ticket. How big are you going to be? <gasps> Do 
guys, I really don't think you understand how much I love this dragon. We can't fly with him yet, but I, 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 I love it. I love it. I'm so, oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. I forgot how much I love just, <gasps> you're massive. How big are you going to be when you're an adult? Oh, what is this? Okay, see the port, just, how, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? No, we're not going to do that. <gasps> I love the way he runs. It's a little bit like a gorilla, I think. I wish I could get like a better view, but sadly, I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't know how to change the view, actually. Oh, actually, wait. Yeah, I do. Is it this? That is not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, so I had to relog, and I still... I still can't get over how big this dragon is. <laughs> yeah, I still can't get over how cool this dragon is. I This is one of my favourites. This is one of my favourite dragons. Anyway, let's go on with the quest. Sorry, I got so distracted. Uh... Where are we going? We're going back to uh, Burke, I think. No, uh, Dragon's Edge. There we go. Oh, this one? Yeah, I think so. Collect by Alexander. Before I forget, you earned an aged up ticket. This will let you choose one of your dragons to get a board boardwing stage immediately. Uh, you will need you and your dragons to be at full strength to take on dragon hunters. Uh, Hiccup came and told me about your brilliant plan to use natural dragon defenses for our own base. It, for our own base, well, he said that it came from you and the twins. But knowing what I know about the twins, I'm guessing it was mostly your idea. Anyways, I would like I would like to introduce you to a dragon to consider for a base defense, the catastrophic Quaken. He's an amazing boulder class dragon that lives at deep dark. He has armor 35, jaw strength 20, and no, there's no way I can tell you the ma majestic, majestic, majest, the, I can't say that word, of the dragon through the dragon's stance, even though they're incredibly accurate. Let me show you in person to the dark deep. Okay. Welcome to the deep dark. This it's the legendary island home of the Gronkles. It's a rocky, dusty place, perfect for rock-eating rock dragons like the Gronkle and the Quaken. Quaken, Quaken? Uh, you see, many animals evolve over generations to live in their natural habitats. The boulder-class dragons survive here better than most dragons. Their, I can't say that word, philosophy? <laughs> I can't say it. Uh, I don't even know what it is actually, has adapted to fit the environment. I wonder where the Gronkles and the Catastrophic Quaken are. My last few trips to this island have been really great with those dragons as my company. Well, it can't, it can't be hard to find them. Let's fly around the island and look for the Quaken. <gasps> okay. All right, let's go look for the Catastrophic Quaken. Uproar, I'm keeping you out. <sighs> this dragon is just everything. I I know I keep saying it, but this has to be my new favorite dragon. Why is there a fire here? That doesn't look good at all, really. Um, huh. We're gonna have to take him to the, 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 the underground bit. Oh no! Found him. Oh no, the dragon hunters must have found this island with the dragon eye. Oh no, oh no, get a grip, fish legs. You can't fall apart now. Dragons are in danger. Uh, the quaking looks a little worse for wear, but it looks like his friend is trapped in this cage. It's a pickle, prickle boggle. Um, a brilliant shark class dragon. He has a really unique ability to heal with his fireballs. Um, on my trips to this island, I've observed the catastrophic Kraken and the Pickle Boggle have developed a symbiotic relationship or a connection between members of different species where they can help each other out. Um, it's just like you and Uproar working together. Gosh, what am I rambling about? Um, what we need to do is help the Pickle Boggle out. I don't think the catastrophic Kraken can break the cage without hurting the dragon inside. What do we do? Those are dragon-proof cages. Fireballs won't do anything to to harm them. Um, I'm out of ideas, Collector Wild Alexander. I wish Hiccup were here. Maybe we can go back to Dragon's Edge and ha ask for Hiccup's help. I'm sure he'll know what to do. 
Wait, I think I saw Harold's boat lagging a bit behind us. Can you ask him if he has any solutions in mind? Why is he... Huh. I'm on Astrid's side. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. Yeah, I'm kind of on Astrid's side right now. He... Email. He does seem a little bit... I don't know. He's like, why is he following us? Or unless we're teaching him, you know, that I get. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just a very, very weird, weird thing. Um, okay, let's go. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, oh, Harold, hi. Yeah, what are you doing here? <laughs> I just, I love him so much. He's so cute. Not Harold, uproar. Hey there. I'm getting a feel for the waters around your dragon's edge. I was navigating the shortest path here with the currents, but I appreciate you slowing down on the flight over to give me a sporting chance to keep up. I know I could have blazed over here on your fast uproar. You said it was called... You said it was called... Yeah, uproar. Uh, these creatures are pretty convenient. A dragon is stuck in a dragon hunter's cage say no more friend i've picked a few useful skills up on this up there skills on the seven seas click on me and lead me the to the way uh, i can get the dragon out in a jam okay let's go oh goodness not oh, okay you're following me wonderful no 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 okay fine. all right he's really fast as well actually we're here we're here we're here here Hello, dragon. Don't claw my eyes out, you hear? Harold is going to get you out of this sticky situation. Hmm. Let's see how the dragons react to him. I feel like dragons have a really good sense of people. <gasps> you did it! Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, you just walked straight through uproar. Wow. You see, the Pickleboggle heals the catastrophic Quaken when it gets hurt. And the Quaken defends the Pickleboggle from any predators. It's a relationship where both species benefit in a unique way. This type of symbiotic relationship is called mutualism. I think our Quaken friend is going to be fine, Collector Alex Hunter. We should clear the island and let leave these nasty... And clear... We should... We should clear the island of these nasty weapons and traps the dragon hunters left behind. Can you grab them all? Sure. What am I doing? <laughs> He's so cool. Ah, uh, I love it. Okay, one, two, this one? Where am I going? Come on up, roll. Let's, oh. Up, roll. Where's the next one? Oh, there we go. Where's the next one? Up, roll. Can you see? I can't see. I just, I just shared a picture of him with TC, and TC said he looks like an Irish deer, which is just amazing. Uh, I love it. I just, he's so cool. Um, hey, little pickle boggle. Wait, can I pet you? I don't know. We need one more. Where is this last thing? Why am I really, really bad at seeing things? Uh huh. I'm like going around and... Oh, here. I see it. We did it. The dragon hunters bit off more than they could chew with the deep dark. You think you can trap the catastrophic Kraken so easily? I wish I could watch them uh, slink away from the island, tails between their legs. Sorry, I get a little bit steamed when I think about these dragons being mistreated. As much as I am happy the Kraken chased the dragon hunters away, they must have captured the Gronkles that lived here. We need to tell Hiccup. We need to go back to Dragon. Let's go back to Dragon's Edge and get and give him these disgusting tools we confiscated. Uh, we'll meet you back at Dragon's Edge, Harold. Thank you so much for your help. I don't know what we would have done without you. Okay. Look at him sit down. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's sleeping now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go. Let's. We need to go back. We need to hurry. Um. And yeah. But I do think we are going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have honestly really enjoyed this quest line so far. And obviously, uproar. Look at him. Look at his beautiful face. Ah. Oh.